Hello, I am Franklin Chang Diaz, Chairman and CEO of Arastra Rocket Company. We are based in Houston, Texas, about three miles west of the NASA Johnson Space Center. Our flagship project is the development of the Vasimir engine. So I will take the next four minutes to describe to you our progress, our current status, and our future plans. The most advanced Vasimir is the 200 kilowatt VX200, which recently completed three years of performance evaluation in our 150 cubic meter vacuum chamber. We have executed more than 10,000 reliable high power firings of this engine with excellent performance and no measurable signs of wear. A typical shot is commanded from our control station and you can see here the 2 million degree plasma plume as it expands in the magnetic nozzle. A schematic animation of the engine operation shows neutral gas being ionized by a helicon electromagnetic discharge and further energized in a downstream RF stage with ion cyclotron waves. The plasma energy is converted to directed velocity by the magnetic nozzle and the plasma accelerates to provide rocket thrust. Both ions and electrons flow together so no neutralizer is required. Typically, argon is used, although the engine can operate with a wide variety of propellants. Advances in the RF coupler design and propellant injection scheme have produced dramatic performance increases in thousands of high-power shots in 2009, 2010, and 2012. A thruster efficiency of 72% has been achieved at 200 kilowatts with 5,000 seconds ISP and 6 newtons of thrust with argon. For higher thrust at lower ISP, krypton can also be used without sacrificing efficiency. Let's look at our technology maturation landscape. We plot technology readiness level as a function of time and look at milestones accomplished up to the present. We start a year after our company's formation with the 50 kilowatt VX50 physics test bed. This device verified the controlling physics of the Vasimer. VX50 was followed in 07 by the 100 kilowatt VX100, which measured a favorable performance scaling as power was increased. We moved to higher power in 09 with the 200 kilowatt VX200, whose performance I described earlier. Last year, we completed the first preliminary design review of the VF200, a flight unit which we plan to fly in space soon. Last March, our $10 million next step proposal was approved by NASA to perform a 100-hour high-power stress test on the engine, which we now designate as the VX200 steady state. We will march to a first critical design review of the flight unit as we move to complete the 100-hour stress test on the VX200SS. We view this test as the last important ground milestone before we prepare for flight. And what can we do with this technology? One application is reboosting space stations in LEO. Take the ISS, for example. It requires more than 7 tons of rocket fuel per year, or about $210 million in app mass costs to keep it in orbit. Ad Astra's autonomous 80 kilowatt Vasimir power and propulsion module could provide this service at about one-tenth of the cost. We also see a need to clear the large pieces of orbital debris orbiting the Earth, a, a danger to our astronauts and our satellites. As an example, this spent Zenit booster, one of many drifting and tumbling in polar orbits, can be deorbited by Ad Astra's orbital sweeper. The solar power tug rendezvous with this Zenit, and Pro Proximity Ops module plants a small solid rocket motor in the booster's nozzle cone. The module also stabilizes the zenith and docks it with the tug, which then moves it down to a disposal orbit for release to a controlled atmospheric re-entry. Ad Astra Sweeper is designed to carry out 20 such maneuvers in 20 different orbital planes in a single mission. The same solar electric tug can provide economical cargo transport in cislunar space, as well as catapult large payloads in fast interplanetary trajectories. It could be used for asteroid capture and repositioning, for mining, and also asteroid deflection. When advanced space nuclear electric power is available, the Vasimer could propel fast human missions to Mars and beyond. Thank you for your attention.